when you're a visual artist, doing studies from life or from reference images are like going to the gym. It's very important to go back as many times as possible and sort of test your test where you are and try and push yourself. I haven't been good about this lately because I think uh, in Dom Diggs, me drawing people in the metro, I just do a lot of portraits anyway, but I don't often sit down and really concentrate on doing something for like two hours. So I'm gonna do that today. Today I'm gonna be drawing Leanne Le Havis, a musician, singer, songwriter from the UK, very skilled, and just look at her. Just look. Um, we're gonna be working from this image and I want to crop it down to um, like just the neck. I don't want to deal with all this stuff on the bottom. I don't want to deal with stuff on the left. I think this is a good good place. Chop off a little more at the top, like that. Um, things that I'm concerned with, make a new layer. Things that I'm concerned about are making sure that uh, I don't go too soft on these brushes with the blending. I want to make, make it kind of as quick as I can do it. Um, focus on the colors a lot making it accurate, making the texture of the skin accurate versus the texture of the hair, playing with that. Um, making sure that uh, proportions are correct. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on the on the initial sketch, the black and white part, where you just kind of make sure that everything is measured correctly before the colors even come into play. Um, when I get stuck, I'll be referring to some tutorials and work in progress pictures from Lowish AKA Lois van Barl, an artist from the UK, uh, from the Netherlands, a Dutch artist, very good. She's a uh, great at colors and just, just everything. Just go check out her site. I, I put links in the show notes below, but above all else, I'm going to trust that I know what I'm doing to some degree and kind of go with whatever I think feels good. And at the end, I'll, I'll talk about whether or not I think I accop accomplished what I was supposed to and what I'm going to work on next time I do one of these things. So let's jump right in. Hey, 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 on, don't man. rub on that. You block that. You understand? That's alpaca. That's $25,000 alpaca. You block that shit. Right. You don't rub on Put the club soda on there. We're going to start with a tone, which is a grayish green thingy thing. Not spending too many too much time thinking about that. Don't put the club soda on there. But like I said, the proportions are important. A lot of hair. Right here, you need to concern yourself with the distance between the eyes and the mouth. The nose. I'm going to start with the darkest tones. What I wanted to do is start with the dark, darkest tones in this, which is her hair. If you look at the reference image, you might want to hold it side by side to what I'm doing right now. Start with the darkest tones, which are, is her hair, and then the next darkest point are the shadows in her neck, so that's why I do that next. Um, I pulled a sort of a, a pastel green because that's close to the tone of the background. Um, here I was using those sharper edges that I was talking about, which it didn't end up working too well and I had to blend it. If you want me to clarify any of these steps, uh, post a comment. It's moving very fast. It's too fast. Trying to keep the... Uh, you, you always can keep the clothing uh, and the neck and the hair simple. Don't put the club soda on there. Because people aren't going to really be looking at that. Um, you don't have to spend too much time on that. I think the colors are still sharp at this point. I'm using, um, you can see the brushes I'm using up at the top. I use the brushes from um, 
KyleBrush.com, Kyle T. Webster. You can get those for like 12 bucks. What am I doing here? Dark lines. Um, I guess I did my blending. I'm almost about to do my blending here. But once you're done with... Uh, once you're done with the majority of the colors, once you put in dark lines, you're just about to finish everything, in my opinion. So you should save that stuff for the end. Um, if you start working with the dark lines too early on, on then you're going to feel like it's all done. And um, you'll kind of be left with something that's not, not finished or you can't push any further. Like I said, uh, I tried to keep the neck simple. I didn't keep it simple enough, so I had to keep going over and over again. You see me struggling a little bit uh, right here. And here I used um, Kyle Webster's oily detail brush. It kind of does what it wants when you use it, which is, um, it's cool because it, it kind of emulates real paint. Um, you, you're not always going to know what, what happens when you put something down. All right, the blending happened uh, two minutes ago, something like that. This took... Uh, about subscribe you need to subscribe right now just do it just click the button this took about two hours i think maybe hour and hour and 50 hair fuzz hair texture i don't know what to tell you man i don't know Like I said, once you add the dark lines, you're about to be finished with everything. So um, I saved the, the most fun part for the end, which are the eyes, the little highlights. Um, you're going to see me dialing in the stuff on her nose and the corner of her mouth. And now we're coming up to the debriefing. Back to the shitty audio. Aren't you excited? Right, so that's it. And uh, back to shitty audio quality. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did right, I think, and what I uh, want to improve on next time. Let me get this red pen out. Proportion-wise, I mean, for, for reference, let me just throw this out here. For reference, I'll throw that out right there. Proportions-wise, I think I did okay. Not perfect, but I, I, I did okay. I mean, perfect is kind of, it's really hard. I'm not John Singer Sargent. Um, I could have done better with the angle of the nose, which is a little sharper. The whole head is actually more on a, this kind of angle. Um, I always tend to try and get things straight. That's something I can work on. This is so, this is so revealing to me, just airing all this stuff out. But this is how you get better. It means like you have to critique your own stuff. Um, the head could have been turned... Just everything could have been turned this way. So, like, for instance, if I do this, let me flatten these layers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, if I do this, that's a little closer. So you see? Back and forth, back and forth. If I do this, this is a little closer. Um, So this is kind of a... Not necessarily how I drew it, but more like orientation of the canvas. Then again, it is how I did it because like I should have I should have realized it while I was doing that. So that's something I need to work on. Um, what else? The left eye, I'm still not not quite happy with that. Right eye was is decent. A bit of an issue between the uh, bridge of the nose, that proportion thing. As much time as I spent drawing out the proportions, I still didn't do enough. Um, I could have made this hair a little darker. No, 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 I, I did fine with that. The likeness of the mouth could have been uh, updated a little bit. Um, what else? I'm happy with this shadow. You know what else I'm noticing is that the colors I picked were very uh, desaturated. 
So if I do this right here, if I turn up the saturation, it's that's more natural. So turn this lightness down a little bit. Maybe make it a little more red, just a little more. That's more accurate than this. You see how grayish this looks, my, the palette I was using? Um, all right, that's another thing. And the only way for me to get over that is to be braver to use crazy colors. I just have to be um, more brave about my color choices. For instance, um, instead of this, I could have picked something a little more saturated over here on this side. Just more saturated than I expect, or than I, than I want to use it. I'll keep that in mind in the next one I do. Um, yeah, otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I spent a lot more time on it than I usually would on a portrait, so I mean, next time I'm just going to keep some of these things in mind, and I'll probably record it and show you guys it. Um, if there are any things, uh, things that you struggle with, Portrait wise, put the club soda on there. Post in the comments. Let me know, um, and I'll try and tell you how I would tackle that problem if you're interested in that at all. Uh, what else? If you want to see me do a portrait of someone else, I'll do that as well. Over the next coming weeks, I'll be in Japan, so I'm gonna be sort of stocking these videos up and putting them to scheduling them to come out on on Mondays. So let me know what you think and what you want to see next, and I'll talk to you guys soon.